Hi there. Today I'm going to tie a small flat wing fly, I'm going to tie a small sand eel um, and I'm going to do this a bit different from uh, from many of the other sand eels that is around because uh, one of my good mates, uh, a guy called Janus, he uh, he has uh, he has made a, a quite a cool way to uh, to actually do these uh, sand eels so uh, so the uh, the flat wing feathers won't uh, won't uh, get caught between the the hook uh, the hook point you know and just just be bend it down there and the, and the fly will 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 not fish as well as it as it as it otherwise should. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a small uh, Mark Petit Chiang uh, magic head uh, because these will will add an, an enormous amount of uh, of uh, of uh, vitality and vibrance and uh, and also movability and swimability if that's even an English word in in the water it will it will add a lot of life the fly will will fish a lot better with this attached so it's just a, it's just a small uh, cone shaped uh, cone shaped uh, soft uh, plastic uh, thingy that you just uh, <laughs> attach to the hook and remember to to hook it correctly to to put the hook through the um, the the big end of this first. Okay, here we go. Just making my way down to to the the bend of the hook. And uh, and what we're gonna do and 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 uh, and why this is a bit different from uh, from most other flat wings is we're gonna do the flat wing down here, um, uh, because when we tie it down here the feathers won't be as as pruned to uh, to uh, to bend and and uh, come back and uh, and get caught inside the uh, the hook bend here. Um, I have done uh, something in my shop to to make it uh, to make these flat wing feathers more accessible to people because to buy a whole flat wing uh, flat wing saddle is, is is often is well it's not often but it is expensive so I have actually taken uh, taken a lot of uh, a lot of good quality saddles and I've split them up into uh, into smaller packs so you can you can buy a smaller pack of uh, of saddle feathers and uh, and get exactly the color you want for for a much uh, cheaper price than than what uh, they are normally uh, retail for so as you can see here is for example is 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 an example of this this is a flat wing pack so it's 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 feathers uh, suited for flat wings i've done this also for pike flies which of course are are bigger feathers but what i'm going to do is uh, as, as you can see i'm just taking one of these uh, feathers here oops sorry about that just i was just going to zoom out so you could see approximately how long this was this is about well two two times the hook perhaps something like that don't want this to be too long because it's it's if it's going to be too long, then you need a stinger hook to ensure uh, that you hook all fish, and stinger hooks are just a pain in the ass. So I, <laughs> I don't want to do those. Also, what you'll see is the feathers in these packs are fairly, fairly long. So uh, this was actually the last part of another feather. So I'm going to take a new feather again, and, uh, and what I can is from one feather that is this long I can make three or four four uh, individual wings which makes uh, these packs even more um, even more uh, more more uh, economic so tie down the other one and I think two for this two uh, in white for for this pattern will be well but um, in Denmark at least and I think in in most other countries there's a lot of talk about this uh, this effect about the UV and stuff like that so I'm gonna do this kind of like a UV chartreuse uh, sand eel as you can see there is a lot of UV going on 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 this chartreuse uh, flat wing hackles here uh, but I'm not gonna not gonna do too much uh, uh, of this UV stuff I'm I'm gonna take two feathers uh, again, or the same feather, just uh, uh, two different parts from it, and uh, and I'm gonna tie it down like so, uh, and then I'm gonna take the rest of this feather. And as you can see, this end here is is broken, uh, broken off, and not very very pretty. So what I'm gonna do to uh, to uh, to rectify this, to make this uh, 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 better looking and and. Uh, is, is I'm gonna take the feather and then I'm gonna cut this way uh, in in a V so it actually gets uh, pointy again so the feather looks exactly like the tip of the feather once more not exactly exactly but very close to it as you can see here 
this feather now looks way way better than it did before and that is uh, how you can actually use the whole feather and just instead of just using uh, the tip and then uh, <laughs> regretfully throwing away too much material that you don't need so out of one of these saddle feathers you can maybe get three if you're if you're not tying if you're tying larger flies and and four if you're tying flies the size of uh, of this this is a size six um gamakatsu if 300 and uh, 314 a very nice hook for for this again just gonna zoom a bit out so you can see i have the four uh, the four feathers here um like that i'm just gonna just so it's completely like so. Good. Moving on then. What we need to do now is we need to take a bit of flesh, not too much, uh, because often uh, people uh, attach too much flesh. And <laughs> this is not a pike fly. This is a, a, a salmon, a, a sea trout fly, and uh, or whatever you want to catch with the sand eel, cod, uh, bass, whatever. Um, so I'm just going to use two strands of this uh, of this lateral scale, um, the thin lateral scale. Uh, a nice, nice product has a lot of a lot of intensity and and brings a lot of life and uh, uh, and and reflects a lot of light. Just gonna use two strands of that. More, um, I don't need more for for this pattern. If you're fishing very murky water, of course you can you can adjust and stuff like that. But uh, but for this fly, this is fine so far. Then I'm gonna take a small uh, small piece of uh, non lead wire. If you are not in Denmark uh, and you can get lead wire, of course, get some lead wire because lead wire is probably it, it has a higher a higher density. So uh, specific density is a I don't know if it's, that's the the correct word in English, but um, but it, it weighs more per hour per per. I don't know how you say the cubic centimeter. I think it weighs more per cubic centimeter, so of course it will be more efficient in weighing down the fly, like so. Then I'm gonna take some bucktail, just a small bundle here, because uh, on uh, on many flies, what you see, what the tendency is, is people kind of like stacks on materials because oh we need this and oh we need that and oh yeah I better get some of this on there as well and oh and before you know it, your flies is like this thick and. Uh, and all the diff different materials that you really wanted to work together and stuff like that doesn't work together at all. It's fine to have a lot of materials on pike flies because most of your pike flies actually are just meant to be flashy and be like, here I am, come and get me if you can. Because, well, pike are not the brightest fish. <laughs> they're the most ferocious and they're probably gonna be, oh, I'm gonna go for that no matter what. It looks like something, it looks like fun, it's, it's moving, I'm gonna eat that. You, <laughs> there are stories of pike eating dogs and stuff like that. So, well, uh, pike will just grab it if it's big, if it's fleshy, and if it's um, well moving. Basically, just if it's moving and uh, and a pike sees it, it will try to grab it. But um, but the sea trout is a, is a bit more elusive, uh, and for this to to actually look like well, on some days, of course, sea trout will be exactly like pike. But but on most days, what you want to do is is you want to have a fly that resembles that looks as much as as the the true uh, true source of food as you can. Um, so so. It, do not stack, do not add too much materials. I'm just going to add, as you can see, a small bundle here of a, of a white bucktail. Just a small bundle, like so. Especially mackerel, for instance. This fly is very good for mackerel as well. But mackerel is, 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 uh, is a strange fish. It's very predatory fish and it's very fast, it's full of speed and that's why it's, it's so fun to catch. But it's also very elusive. It doesn't seem to go for just anything. So, uh, so you want something that, that, uh, that looks good. And, uh, and I've ca caught, uh, caught some mackerels on, uh, on this, uh, this fly this year. Even though the mackerel fishing has been uh, slower than usually. I went with my pontoon boat to uh, to the west coast of Denmark to catch mackerels uh, and and sea bass. Um, I was not that successful. I managed to uh, to get my car stuck in the sand and uh, uh, met some guys who laughed and laughed and laughed. And I sprained my shoulder trying to dig out the reels. And then I got stuck one meter further down the road and stuff like that. Then I had to call. Uh, my insurance company to get them to come and pick me up and, and drag me out and after that I had to 
carry my pontoon boat which weighs 20 kilos all the way down to to the coastline that was a long walk and I was tired and it was late and I was just a bit mad and when I finally got to fishing in the evening nothing was biting and you know how it is but the next morning I actually I actually managed to to catch a few mackerels even though even though the 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 amount of mackerels uh, this year is not as big as uh, as, uh, as it has been uh, the, the last the last couple of years but uh, it's 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 a good fly for mackerel as well. Well, basically anything that eats sand eel, this fly is, is of course uh, usable for. Like so. And as you can see, I'm gonna leave a small part up here uh, without any dubbing or without any materials. And that is because up here, uh, way up in front, I need a bit of space so I can actually bend this backwards and actually. Uh, get the, the line into the uh, into the eye of the hook, so that's that's kind of crucial. Well, not only kind of crucial, that is well crucial. Like so, a small flashy body. Take another small bundle of uh, of bucktail. Bucktail is one of my all-time favorite materials for uh, for uh, for bait fish imitations, bait fish imitations of any kind. Bucktail is just it's very good. It's pretty, uh, it's 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 strong. It's pretty pretty stiff, but still uh, vibrates in the tips. And uh, well, yeah, you gotta love bucktail. See, this is not I've not done the build up correctly here. I need a, the last part of dubbing I spent here. I did not spend wisely. So I'm gonna have go a bit further, like so. That was better. And as you can see, there is a small amount of space right here. See where my scissor is? Right there. There is a small amount of space, just about a millimeter or something like that. It don't need to be much, but it needs to be a little. I'm gonna take the bundle of the bucktail here, of white bucktail. Not gonna make that too long. Like so. Like that, that looks very nice. Looks very nice. And then uh, finally, I'm gonna take a s very small bundle of, uh, again, UV active bucktail in chartreuse. I know chartreuse is not the ac the complete accurate color for uh, for uh, for uh, sand eels, but uh, but it it seemed to uh, it, it it seemed to do the trick on uh, on the mackerels and uh, and I also had some sea trout on this, so uh, so of course the sea trouts will uh, will grab this. Uh, the most important thing is you of course fish this uh, at, a, at a pretty rapid pace. Um, uh, 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 I I always use the the double hand retrieve for flies like this, um, and uh, and then then the small nuance uh, difference. In uh, in color, it's not something uh, the fish will 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 take too much uh, into consideration before grabbing this fly. The most important thing is to get the shape and the uh, the the profile right, the profile of the fly in the in the in the water right, and um, then uh, then the fish will grab it like so. Starting to look really good. I'll make my whip finish. Well, not starting to look really good, but <laughs> actually ending. Oh, whatever. To look really good, that sounds strange as well. Then I'm gonna take my buck bond UV glue. Um, this is uh, the buck bond is the best uh, UV curing glue I've I've tried, and I've tried a lot of them. Um, the buck bond is uh, is is the the one that actually keeps its promise of not being sticky after it's applied. Um, many of many of the UV glues, glues promises to do that, but well, I find that Buck Bond is, is actually well uh, the best of them in actually keeping this promise. So as you can see, just added a small eye here. This is a red eye in 3 millimeters, a nice size for this fairly, fairly small uh, sand eel imitation. Just gonna make sure it stays there. 
I'm sorry if I have to to turn the vice uh, in order for, so you so you can't follow it all but but basically what I'm doing here is I'm applying a small amount of glue at a time to ensure that um, that uh, the 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 glue is is more manageable if you if you're not using too much at a time uh, and uh, and that's the the whole advantage with this uh, uv cure, curing glue is you can use a small drop here a small drop there and exactly make and build your head uh, the 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 way you you really want it to look so just add a small amount of glue not too much make sure it is uh, it is how you want it to be then uh, UV cure it. As you can see, there is a lot of uh, UV stuff going on in the, in the, in the, in the, in the materials for this fly. Then add a small amount more. Like so. Bang with the light. Shine the light. And well, just gonna focus it for you so you can see it. There you have it. Small UV head uh, for the fly, and you can uh, you can easily pull this back, push this back to uh, to attach your line. And uh, oh, that's a bit too much light. What about that? Nah, that doesn't work. There is the correct lighting. So you can see there, the small sand eel, the small UV sand eel, uh, looks like a million bucks. Not too easy, not too expensive, since you can now get the uh, the saddle feathers uh, in in smaller packs, and and you have will have for uh, f uh, wing materials for many flies in a pack like that. I would say you can definitely maybe maybe do something like twenty flies or something like that for from one pack, and uh, and and you're good to go. Some bucktail, a bit of dubbing. Of course, you need some UV glue as well. Uh, but you can actually, if you don't want the UV glue, you can you could probably just do something with the with a, with a fish skull or something like that. Perhaps I should do a tutorial on that. But well, here it is: the small uh, the small UV sand eel with the uh, with the magic head. A nice, nice fly.